What's up you guys, Sean Allen here. Welcome to another awesome video from right here at the Wizarding World Harry Potter. Very recently, we just got new merchandise from the new Fantastic Beasts franchise over here at Filch's Emporium, Ollivander's, and a few of the other shops outside of the Wizarding World. Let's go check them out right now. Let's check out what they have here at Filch's Emporium. Here we have these little guys, they're called Nifflers. These guys can search for anything that's metal. There's different types of Nifflers as you can see. By the way, you can adopt one of these little guys just like you can with the Pygmy Puffs over at Zonko's. Here's some more Nifflers right here. Here we have Newt's journal here. That's pretty cool. And some t-shirts as well. We have another t-shirt right here. There's the Elder Wand right there. That is awesome. The Deathly Hollow symbol in the background there. And we have more Nifflers here as well as journals and stuff, including the shirts. Along with the clothes and toys, we also have the wands from the franchise. Check these out. These are the wands that you can see right now in the new films. Here are the wand boxes right here. Newt's, of course, is the most popular, probably, so that one will be getting sold the most. Pretty fancy. I love the designs on each of these wands. It's pretty unique for each one. Look at this one, too. This one's got a shell on it. On the other side, we have more of the wand boxes right here. Inside all of Vanders, they have the exact same wand boxes as well as the wands in here from Fantastic Beasts. So let's go ahead and take a look. Here they are, right here. This is where they used to store the light up wands. And now this is for Fantastic Beasts, right here. They come in different colors. It's a bit of a lightish blue color right there. Winnie Goldstein is kind of a greenish box. This one's kind of like a grayish blue color here. Here's red for Nicholas Flamel. Wow. They're non-interactive wands. In other words, you can't use them in Hogsmeade because there are some wands in the shops where you can use them in Hogsmeade. You know, like the, the, the different spells that has like a cool map of Hogsmeade. These, unfortunately, don't have that option. So, unfortunately, they're non-interactive. They're basically like the exact duplicates of the ones they use in the movies. Pretty much, like for cosplaying and for a prop. And there you go guys, those are the new pieces of merchandise we have here from Fantastic Beasts here in the Wizarding World Harry Potter here at Universal Studios Hollywood. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you liked it, hit the thumbs up button. It is greatly appreciated. Be sure to check out my other content here on YouTube as well as my other channels, the Educational Series, the Disneyland Video Series, and the Travel Town Series. I'm also on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Peel Box address is down below in the description of this video. If you can't see any of the links or any of the description I just mentioned to you in this video, be sure to check out the Show More button in the description box. All right, well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching in this scene. As they say in Hollywood, technically, I'm right outside of the Wizarding World. That, my friends, is a wrap. Yep, that's, that's my hat. <laughs> Bye.